record for the fastest any land vehicle has ever gone was set in 1997. British Royal Air Force pilot Andy Green was in the cockpit for that run. Two decades on, Green is looking to break his own record with a new companion, the Bloodhound. At full speed, the car will cover one mile or 1.6 kilometers in 3.6 seconds. That's four and a half football pitches for every tick of a clock. Anyone lucky enough to see the car's record attempt won't hear it coming. At 1,000 miles per hour, the Bloodhound will be going faster than the speed of sound. The car will have a jet engine and rockets. Those will produce more than 135,000 horsepower. That's more than six times the power of all Formula One cars on the starting grid combined. So this car is part race car, like a like a, a Formula One car. It's part jet fighter. So the back of the car looks just like a jet fighter, and then underneath we've got part of a spaceship. So the actual rocket motor we're using is from a satellite launch system. So it it is a bit of all three. Andy sits in a cockpit that looks like a bit like a car. He's got a steering wheel. He's got a throttle pedal and a brake pedal, and he's got triggers on the wheel. As he gets to 300 miles an hour, he pulls the triggers, and that lights the rocket. And that will give him the extra extra thrust. It'll take him through 800 miles an hour next year, and then the following year up to 1,000 miles an hour. The Bloodhound will be tested for the first time in Newquay in June. It will head to South African desert in October to break the record. Andy Green. The only person in the world to have driven a supersonic car before will be behind the wheel. I'm sitting very close to a military jet engine behind me. Now the good news is, when I'm when the car is travelling faster than the speed of sound, faster than 1,200 kilometres an hour, I can't hear the jet engine because I'm travelling faster than the sound it's making. This steering wheel has been 3D laser printed in titanium. So this is a safety critical structural part of the car. And it's it's not just been printed in titanium; it's actually been moulded to my hands. So this is actually fits my hands perfectly.、Um, it, it's got all the controls for making the car go and making the car stop、um, on the steering wheel, and of course the two pedals underneath my two feet. You know, the right foot for the jet engine, left foot for the brakes. The project is back on track after several delays, thanks to financial and technical support from China. Chinese engineers are now working alongside the Black Hong team. To reduce noise in the cockpit, in the Bloodhound vehicle, it's very noisy. It's the car will be running at a thousand miles per hour. The vibrations, the noise inside the cockpit will be incredibly loud. So we need to produce、uh, a system or some technology where Andy Green will be more comfortable running at that speed. The Bloodhound is not only built to break the record, but to inspire the next generation of scientists. Live data and video will be streamed online to take fans with Green on the record-breaking ride. Zhang He, CCTV, Bristol.